Hello and thank you for joining us for another in-depth but easy to follow video top list. We know that you live a busy life and don't have the time to dedicate to searching for the best products on the market, which is why we did it for you. We spent countless hours researching and testing most of the products available today and we also analyzed many customer reviews to find the best models. Our final rankings based on comfort, practicality and value for the money. If you choose from these models, you can be sure that you buy a great product. Make sure to check out the products links in the description below. Let's get started.
What is the perfect sleep experience? How do you quantify comfort? At Casper, we have a team of engineers, designers, researchers, trying to understand how we can get people to sleep better. When we first started designing the mattress, we surveyed everything that was out there. We go to people's homes and talk to them. We go shopping with them. We get below the surface and really understand what's at the core of what people really need in a mattress. I'm gonna get into some very technical details here. So in a spring mattress, you have a certain number of springs at a certain diameter, and that kind of sets the surface area that your body is lying on. For foam, you kind of have an infinite surface area because foam's made up of these tiny little polymer cells. There's millions of them. Foam just affords you much more opportunity to get the proper amount of support, the proper amount of pressure relief that people would want in a mattress. When we were developing the prototypes, we just rented a big room and just had stacks and stacks of the foam from different suppliers and started layering them up and building sample mattresses and then we started doing sleep testing. To get better and quicker feedback, we did a lot of A-B testing. The left half of the mattress would be one thing and the right half would be another thing so that in the course of a couple nights, they could try the two different sides of the mattress. We couldn't get what we were looking for on the market, so we went and worked with our manufacturers to develop our own foams. The Casper mattress is a four-layer construction. The top is actually a really breathable, really bouncy foam. The memory foam is one layer down. You still get the pressure relief characteristics and the motion isolation benefits. Even if you pick the best quality foams, you have to consider what they feel like when they're put together. So we zeroed in on this key mechanical property we call the ride, which describes how the mattress feels as you move from the very top down to the deeper, more supportive layers. In a lower quality mattress, you'll feel each layer as you move down. It's kind of like bouncing down a staircase. In the Casper mattress, we achieved a much smoother feel, like moving down a ramp as you move through and you don't feel the discrete steps. I could write you like a 100 page essay on, <laughs> on this. It will test for firmness, density, airflow, durability, flammability, support factor, tensile tear, recovery, Cornell testing. They take like this butt shaped pounder and they pound it into the mattress. The design of the actual product informs the design of the packaging some point they're gonna have to align so we stay kind of close-knit through the process. It's an amazing place where design and engineering and R&D kind of combine and create this like perfect mix. If we're doing testing and something's not quite right we're not just gonna say oh we can just bypass that and push it out. We go back and challenge each other really to make the products work the way we want them to. What's special about it is the level of refinement for every aspect It's all been considered to get that perfect feel. Sleep on the Casper mattress is, I often use the term floating, that like highly saline water where you're just buoyant. We go super deep into every detail so that we make better products to help people sleep better.